It's going to be a wonderful three days of uh, sharing ideas and music and learning about each other's explorations and um, looking forward to getting to know all of you and to learning a lot. So, thank you. Thank you for joining us today here at the Fenway Center, um, the opening of the Bowen Pierce Conference. It's, I'm very, very excited. I'm also very nervous. <laughs> and um, I'm very happy. I'm happy that you all came out, some of you on your own expense. And uh, that's, a, that's a great um, moment for me to realize that there is a community out there, people that are willing to share their experiences, and also, I'm very happy about the diversity of this community, spanning a wide range from the avant-garde uh, composition to pop music, experimental pop music. Uh, I think the world is ripe uh, for new approaches in uh, music, uh, particularly microtonality. Uh, I think we're ready to um, engage in new practices. And the Bolan Pierce scale is one way to um, bring um, the microtonality to the mainstream. Um, we've seen, of course, a lot of microtonal music. Most of it is being performed on synthesizers. Uh, there is um, cases with, like uh, with Harry Parch where microtonal music, there was a, a whole set of instruments built, acoustic instruments, but I would call this an island solution. You have the, the, uh, a wealth of instruments uh, designed for one practice. The Bowen and Pierce scale will, is different in that respect. Uh, this, it, it has lent itself to standardization, and through standardization, um, it also opens the, the door to, um, to the mainstream. So we can expect something in the future uh, where um, more than just a handful of experts are uh, in, engaged in the, the practice of volunteer skill. I see uh, many possibilities, and this is just the beginning. All right, um, in, um, if you have an idea, then it's good to surround yourself with good people. And uh, this is the moment where I want to express my uh, gratitude. Um, I want to start with the, thanking the Goethe Institute who made it possible for me to be here, who accepted my grant proposal and have uh, paid for my flight and uh, my rent. And also that's the Goethe Center in Munich. But here's the Goethe Institute in Boston has also done their share. They have um, also financed a commission. They have paid for several flights. They are hosting us on a Tuesday night, and I want to express my gratitude as well. Then um, we have the, uh, the Boston Microtronal Society. This was a, um, a contact that I established uh, four years ago when we, my, my colleague Manfred Stank and I came to, to Boston and to work at, with Anthony DeRitis on my e-learning project. It had nothing to do with uh, microtones. But uh, this was a, was, a, was a very good event for me, and we've been in contact ever since. Thank you so much, Julie. Um, also, thank you to James, co-director of the Microtonal Society, who has also been very supportive of us. He has been proofreading this wonderful booklet and uh, have, has got, uh, given us a lot of uh, support. Um, thanks also to your wife, who also had uh, done, who did her share. Um, I'd like to thank Richard Boulanger, who's sitting in the front, the front row. Um, I'd like to thank him very much for his enthusiasm, uh, relentless enthusiasm, who's been putting on a fantastic program tomorrow night at, at Berkeley. It'll be a, a wonderful event that will show a different facet. We're going to be focusing on uh, tonight and on Tuesday mainly on acoustic music and. On my, Monday night will be uh, mainly electronics, and we'll, uh, we'll see a, a wide, uh, wide bandwidth of of different musical styles. Um, then uh, I'd like to thank the New England Conservatory for providing a space tomorrow night uh, for tomorrow afternoon. Our second lecture session will be at um, New England Conservatory, and. Um, I'd also like to thank Anthony DeRitis, my friend, who has helped me over and over again, has um, given me two classes to teach, and was uh, given a relentless support for this uh, 
event. Thank you so much, Tony. Um, Maureen Tan is not here. She's a co-worker of uh, Northeastern, a uh, designer. She's done a beautiful job designing this booklet. I want to thank her for her work. And uh, I also want to thank the students at Northeastern that have been working with me, uh, as well as the many participants and lecturers and musicians that have come out here to be part of this memorable event. Um, yeah, I guess um, before I say thank you to all of you, I want to make uh, one short announcement. Uh, it's, by the time things are being printed, things are usually also, uh, you know, there's the first changes. And so we have the, um, we have um, a new lecture. One lecture had to be canceled and we had to move things around a little bit, so we have, we'll have a lecture by Julia Warrens tomorrow at 4.30 <coughs> on uh, the legacy of Joe Maneri and uh, Ezra Sims, so, and uh, also their work with microtones and the establishment of the Boston Microtone Society, so please attend uh, Julia's lecture. And we'll have, um, there's another change, Ellen Walker is going to talk about her, her projects at 2.30 on Tuesday, um, as well as Todd Harrop at 3.15, also on Tuesday. So please take a note of that. Thank you so much, and enjoy your three days at this event.